Hey guys, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning and for today's video we're going to be setting up my new Tutti Frutti planner for June and I'm going to answer some questions I've been getting about the subscription that I now offer and we're going to get to take a look at some of the goodies in the collection, stuff like that. So um, yeah, okay, let's get to it. Okay, so if you are a subscriber to one of my monthly bundle deals, then you already know that the theme for June is Tutti Frutti, which is so fun. And I've also got the question, is this the same theme that's going to be in CHQ for June for my catalog? Um, no, that one's going to be Strawberry Lemonade. So. I'm going very fruity for the month of June and fruity and fun. So, um, so yeah, two different themes. This one's for my subscription, my early access subscription in, uh, the shop. So, so yeah, so I guess I want to start out with answering some questions about the subscription. So I've been getting different questions about like what's included, what's it look like, uh, what's the difference between the different tiers. So I thought, let's just start out with that. Um, this is what you get with my subscription. So this is the monthly version. I figured I'm going to start with this just because the, the deluxe bundle here comes with everything. Um, so like it, there's a mini sticker, planner and then the deluxe. So the deluxe comes with everything. So I figured, you know, you get a look at all of it, but this is the catalog for a good comparison. This is your visual. I've updated this on the subscription page. So I'll make sure all those links are in the video description so you can have those, but this is the mini bundle option. With this, you get a creativity challenge, which I, I've been getting lots of questions about that. This is um, a set of weekly prompts. And yes, I don't show this because uh, it's different every, it's going to be different every month. It changes up and I don't want anyone like getting the surprise spoiled by showing what that actually looks like. So creative creativity challenge is like a set of prompts that encourages you to try something creative something different each week of the month and it's in the form of a sticker set so you get a sticker for each week that you can add to your planner spreads or just reference um wherever in the subscription you see all of those in the catalog so that's the creativity challenge you get a set of mini calendars um there's two of each of these so i've got monday start and sunday start because you know just because I'm Monday start doesn't mean that you are. So I wanted to include both. And then, oh, someone unsubscribed to my mailing list. So sad. You'll miss out on the awesome freebie. Anyways, um, okay, tangent. Um, you also get calendar overlays. So basically, these are like giant stickers. I don't know why I keep looking up at my camera like you guys are in there. You're not in there, but I don't, I don't know. Anyways, okay, so you get calendar overlays. These are like just giant stickers that they're dated and decorated. It also comes in Monday start and Sunday start in two different formats. So obviously the landscape one is designed to go with the planner that comes in this collection. Um, but then the vertical one you can use, I mean, you can use either one in any planner. You can always like crop and squish and move them around however you want, or just take a blank page and stick it on there. That works too. Uh, but there's two different versions in Monday Start and Sunday Start. The mini bundle is $3 a month and you get a 10% off discount code to my shop. So that's the mini bundle. Then if you go one step higher, that is the sticker bundle. So you get everything from the mini bundle plus 
a standard sticker book. This is the one that's got five pages of stickers that's like anywhere from like 130 to 170 stickers usually. And then you get the big sticker book that's usually around 500 stickers. So that's a big thing. And this bundle is $10 and it gives you a 20% off discount code to use in the shop. And then this is the planner bundle. So you get everything from the mini bundle plus the sticker bundle, plus the one month planner. Now it's an undated any start planner. So it works for Monday start and Sunday start. You can, you know, date it however you want. And just like I get this question a lot too. I feel like I've said it, said the answer a lot, but just in case you aren't aware, an undated one month planner works just like an undated year long planner in that if you just keep the original blank version, anytime you want to use it again, you just import it back into your planning app. So keep that original safe in Dropbox or on a jump drive or Google Drive, OneDrive, anything like that. And anytime you want to use it again, then you just import it again into your planning app. So it's not good just for that one month. It's not dated. So you're not only using it for that month. So I love it because it keeps your file size down because when you load it full of stuff, it starts getting bigger and bigger and slowing down. So if it's a one month planner, you don't have all 12 months stuck in there slowing everything down. So that's one reason I like a one month planner. Another reason is because you can just change them up every single month and you're not stuck with the same style or the same theme, the same colors. You switch up. So that's my must feel. And then the biggest bundle is the deluxe bundle. So with this, you get everything from the mini bundle. Okay. You get the stickers from the sticker bundle. You get the planner from the planner bundle. And then you also get a set of accessories and paper notes. So this is like the best deal. I think it's $25 a month, which is, I mean, like that's like, I think it's like 50% off if you were to buy everything in the shop. And then you also get a 50% off discount code to use in the shop. I mean, that's like, that's a big discount. If you're in CHQ, if you're a premium member for CHQ, you're used to getting that 50% off discount code. But if you're, if this is new and you're like, you've just done my subscription, I mean, 50%, that's awesome. And I always include matching things to go along with the collection, plus some other things there's older things in the shop. There's other like random things, customer requests. So you can use it on any of that. And then there's also, I don't have a picture of it, but there's also a VIP membership. So if you don't want to receive like a package straight to your email every single month of different things, you can just get the VIP membership and that gives you the 50% off discount code. So it just depends on like what you want. Like if you just want the discount code and you don't want, like, let's say you don't like this theme for some reason. I don't know why it's lovely, but like, let's say you didn't want to be surprised with a new theme every month. You just wanted that discount code. Go with the VIP membership. That's how you do that. Okay. So to look at the catalog, this is what you get for the deluxe monthly catalog. It's really cute. And there's a little table of contents. If you click on these, it's going to take you to the different areas and a little note from me, all your handy links that you might need. And then you just go right to it. So you can click to download and you'll get the PNGs and the GoodNotes file. Um, if you click on the binder rings, it's going to take you back to this table of contents anywhere, you know, anywhere in the planner. And you can click these. And so this is just a quick little flip through of what the catalog looks like. And it's just really fun, really handy. I had to cover up that discount code. Don't want you guys taking that. Um, so yeah, so there's the catalog for that. And okay, I guess, I guess that's it. I guess you guys are ready to like get into the planner. So this is the planner. I feel like I've been doing a lot of ring binders lately, so I wanted to do something different and I haven't done one of my Hobonichi Insta inspired planners. So I'm calling it the Kalanichi because it's, you know, it's a play on my business name. I thought that was fun. Um, and when I asked my PR team what they'd like to see different, cause I wanted to, you know, give you some variety. What, so I asked them what they'd like to see different for the one month planner. 
And um, a couple of the girls suggested doing um, a planner that had monthly, weekly, and daily all linked. So instead of one, like the past few ones I've been doing, they, they've been like builder planners. So you like build up your dailies and weeklies and whatever you want. But with this, it's all linked. So if you, the cover has like, you know, the planner and then like this space. This is a sticker right here from my June freebie. And I'll talk to you about that more. Um, but that's where that sticker came from. But if you, you can decorate this, make it your own and click this and it takes you to the inside where you can write all your stuff. Um, if you click the bookmark anywhere in the planner, it's going to take you back to that front page. If you click the paperclip, it's going to take you to an index page where you've got links for everything that's included in this. Um, this planner comes with, I'm just making sure I'm recording. I'm like so concerned. Okay. Um, it comes with four sections here that are bonus and I've, I've already decided what I wanted to use those for. So yes, yeah, so it's, you can see how it's blank. So you can fill those in. I use text boxes. This is my Stella font. If you want this look, this is Stella in my shop, but this is your yearly tab. And then you've got monthly, weekly, daily, and then your bonuses that you can do. This is your detail section. So it just takes you here with all of this stuff. I think my dog's like activating my cameras right now. Um, so this is just your detail section. This is a quick notes area. So anywhere in the planner, it's going to take you to this page if you just click notes. So if you want to just like jot something down really quickly, there you go. Page templates. I gave you a section of like the basics and some tracking things, some life pages and some pre-decorated pages. I know that um, you may have already seen these. I know there's been a couple of teasers on uh, Instagram and in the Facebook group of these decorated pages. You may have seen those already, um, but I haven't set up my planner for June yet. I've done like a few things, um, but my monthly page, if I go to my calendar, this is what it looks like. I haven't set it up yet, but like I said, it's all linked. It's an any start planner so that you can put Monday through Sun Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday, whatever you want. The let's zoom in here. So you can put like June here, put whatever you want up here. Um, these buttons will take you to the weekly pages, and then these little headers on each day will take you to a daily page. So for instance, if I click week one, I've already decorated this page because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for um, the freebie for June. And this was kind of like my inspiration for that. Oh, I think I'm like spitting on my iPad. So sorry. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so the monthly page, each of these things are linked to daily pages. So if I click this, this is my current daily page and the there's a mini calendar area. Let me scroll. So there's a mini calendar area on each daily page and that's going to take you right back to your monthly page. And on your weekly pages, you can't see it on this one. There's also a mini calendar that's going to take you back to your monthly page. Each of these will take you to a daily page. Um, so they're they're all interconnected. I didn't link the daily pages back to a weekly page just because, you know, I just felt like it was just easier to go here. And yeah, so that's how it's all linked. We've got a monthly section, um, weekly section, daily section, all this kind of stuff here. I think I said this was the yearly. I think so. Um, one thing that I thought would be fun that I added new to the monthly section is I've got a few different extra pages. So. I've got, this is the all the things page, which is fun. This is goals for the month. And if you're part of my um, monthly, the early access subscription thing with the creativity challenge, uh, week one, I'll just go ahead and let you know that it, it's the challenge is to set up a goals page in your planner. So I thought this would be fun. Just use this page template or create your own. I know one of my girls has used um, part of the freebie and created her goals page. She's already done it. I've already seen it and it's really cute. Um, but so that's, that's the creativity challenge for June for the first week. Then you've got your monthly page. 
Then you've got a currently dashboard, so you can do like currently doing, watching, reading, listening to, and then I give you a few extras, so you can just, you know, keep track of this if you want. I thought that'd be fun. And then you've got a little note section. Then we get into the weeks, so you can like break it down by these weeks. And then daily, I've got starting week one, starting week two. So if you needed to like jump ahead to a certain area, you can do that. And then your extra tabs just look like this. So you can add your own titles, they're decorated. And these are just dividers so that you can use them for whatever you want. And then this is your quick notes thing here at the end. So my tip of what I've already done is I used, a, I used a text box here to label my tabs. And I always do this on the page template page so that if I need it, because I'm maybe I'm lazy or maybe I just don't care enough to do it, but I'm not going to go through and put these labels on every single page because what if I don't use that page? Like there's a bazillion daily pages in here. What if I don't use this? I'm not going to waste my time doing that. So if I put it on the page template page, I can always just circle, copy, and then I can just paste it on whatever page I'm going to use. So like, let's see. I don't know if I've already done this on the monthly calendar. I haven't. So I'm going to go ahead and paste these. So this is my tabs. And then now you guys get to see one of these subscription goodies here. This is an exclusive for my subscription. This is one of the calendar overlays and I'm just going to use this. It can be a little tricky if you've not used one of these before. My tip is always cause GoodNotes has like a tendency to like get crooked, switch to the image tool and just do it again. Just be on the safe side. It can be a little tricky. I tested this out, but oh, dang, look how good I got it on the first try. So my tip is use your date boxes and like the headers up here as like your guide to line it up. Damn, that was fast. The first time I tried this, it took me like a few tries just to make sure because I was all perfectionist and wanted things to be exactly right. But I mean, that's pretty close. It's close enough. I'm not going to like try to change it. Oh, maybe I am. Damn it. Okay. All right. Well, that's, that's pretty close. That is close enough, I think. So that's an easy way that now my calendar is dated and I could just stop here, but you know, I'm not, I'm not going to, um, I'll go back and like add my stuff. I won't make you guys watch, you know, watch me do all that. But here's one thing your weekly little clickable things are no longer like visible. So I showed you those first. They're under here. If you can't remember that it is right in line with the bottom, like there, if you can't remember that, then you can always like put a little sticker or put a little dot with the pen. I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the big sticker book and I'm going to grab one of these. I'm gonna grab this one, this dark, dark green. And if you haven't figured it out, if you try to layer an image over something that is linked, then it's, you can't exactly like click it. Like if, to give you an example of what I mean, um, if I go to, not what I meant, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so there's a little link for the mini calendar here. If I were to try to like, oh, damn it. If I were to try to edit this image, see how like I'm on the image tool. Obviously, we know the image tool works, but because there's a link underneath it, I can't just like click on the image unless I get off the link a little bit. So I don't know if you know that. Um, I don't know if that's new or if I just learned that the other day or, or what, but I thought I would share that with you. So the reason why I say that is because I know I'm going to copy this and put it on there. And so I'm going to say copy. And this is my weekly thing. So that's what I'm going to do so that I remember where my weekly links are. 
I mean, I created it, so obviously I know where they're at. But at the same time, I just think that's really handy to have those. And they are cute. So that one is there. So if you can't remember that your weekly links are right there at the bottom corner, right there, just put those little doodads. Um, okay, so that is my my page here. And then I don't think I'm going to do anything else in the monthly section. So I'm going to take my page templates and I am going to copy these. Copy, copy. And I know I want to do, actually, I do want to do the habit tracker. I saw this thing the other day. I watched a live video from Neva. So shout out to Neva. She did a live video with Hustle Sanely. Uh, and I had never heard of it before. And so I was like really intrigued. And so now it's got me thinking about, you know, like your five keys and your habits and your blah, blah, blah. I don't think I'm going to use that one right now. And so it makes me want to do a habit tracker. Y'all, I don't know if I will actually stick to a habit tracker for the whole month, but we're going to try. So I'm going to copy this habit tracker. I'm going to go to my live section and I'm just going to paste it right behind there. And I must actually, since I pasted it, uh, if you paste one of the page templates, then it, there, it's not linked. So if I hit my bookmark, it's going to be right there and I can easily come back to it. So, um, the finance tracker, copy this page, go to life and I'm going to go right behind this one and paste it in there. And I'm going to copy these again. And I'm going to go to the book tracking page. I keep a book journal, so I don't think I'll use the review pages in here, but I would like to include this in there. So I'm just going to copy this page and I'm going to go to my favorites. Oh, I didn't. I need to come back to that. So I'm going to put this in my life pit in my life section too. So there's that. I'll favorite it. Let me go back to my templates and copy. Next, I'm going to do meals. So I'm going to go to meal planning. This is the meal planning page. And it comes with like a, a little mini calendar. You've got your, your, these are for your days over here. And if you zoom in, you can see that there's like, you could do like Sunday and then put the date there or take your daily box sticker and turn it this way, put your number there and your date, however you want to do it. But, um, I've got breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, and then this blank one. So this could be anything that you want here. Um, then I've got a shopping list. I may not use this as a shopping list. I may use it as like, or it's like a grocery list of maybe like a pantry shopping list. So keep a list of like foods that I have around the house in the pantry, in the refrigerator, in the freezer, whatever. And so I can just like keep my list here and then circle it and copy it onto a different meal. So I can like plan out what, what I or what we are going to eat throughout the week. Maybe. All right, so I'm going to copy this page and go to meals and I'm going to paste, I'm going to paste in five of these. So it's two, three, four, five. Yes, I know how to count. So I'm just going to go to the first one and bookmark it since that's this current week. And I'll just unbookmark and bookmark the next one the next week. All right, back to you to oh, new order. Thank you. I'm going to copy this. And so next is health. I'm going to go to my health and wellness page. 
and I haven't picked out a health challenge or fitness challenge for uh, for June, but I think I would like to and use this um, and like do a challenge and like try to be consistent. Try, try, try to be consistent. We'll see how that actually goes. All right, so copy this page. We go to health and I'm going to paste it. I'll go ahead and bookmark this since it's the current week. All right, so two, three, four, five. All right, so journal. I'm gonna copy this again. And you don't have to do this every time because you do it once and you're done, right? So I am gonna go to this weekly journaling page. So this is my kind of like photo a day, word a day kind of journaling spread. And it's, you know, you can put like a, a photo or a, a sticker or whatever, and then, you know, write a little blurb. So this is a good way to like start out journaling. If you know you can't like consistently sit down and like write a page, you can like write a line like today's highlights or whatever, or I was feeling like shit today, or I had an amazing day, whatever, you know, I, this, I want to do this. So speaking of journaling, there is a, um, a self love planner challenge, a journaling challenge that uh, bougie planner girl is doing for June. And that's why I wanted to include a journal section for myself is because I want to do that challenge. So, um, I'll find the link and leave that for you. Um, in case anyone else wants to, it's a free challenge. It comes with like a free, um, like a calendar and like little prompts for every day. And I want to try to take that on. So, all right. So that's one, two, three. I could also just hit this four, five. Okay. So, oh, oh, see, okay. That's the difference. Since I did add current template, it didn't copy my little tabs over my titles. So that's why I paste page people. That's why I paste page copy. Now I'm going to put these on here again. So paste page because you've got your titles. Duh, I know this. I don't know why I didn't. Well, let's just put it there. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Okay. All right. I feel like that that is good. Um, so the other ones that are in here, let's just take a look at this. So this is the book review page. Meal planning, health and wellness. You guys have seen this. This is really fun. I want to use this, but I just don't know where I want to put it yet. But this is what I'm calling the productivity dashboard. And I think I'm just going to copy it and for now just stick it in my monthly section, maybe after notes, because I don't know what all I want to use it for yet. But this is a new page template. I've never done this before. I thought it'd be really fun. Um, there's a place where you could do like a mini calendar. You could add notes. You could add like a, just a decoration. But kind of like what I'm thinking is like the month is here. Got a little mini calendar there. This is like notes. Put like just a full on decorative sticker here. I mean, I'm saying this, but I could totally like show you kind of what I'm thinking. Um... So I kind of sized it with some of these things in mind. Um, remember, always go back to the image tool because it needs to be straightened out. It just does. Oh, it was so close. Okay, so I kind of pictured this. And then a little mini calendar up there. I don't know if... If I want to use like maybe this one just because it's pretty maybe 
Oh, what am I doing? Quit. Because you guys know I love to do this little crappy thing. So I'm looking at this. This is how I know what I want to do. So I've got like, it's right at that leaf. And I want it to be, let's see, a little above that line. So I do right there. And that's cute. So, so yeah, so I don't know what I'll put here. Um, probably some decorations or something. Um, but yeah, so this is the productivity dashboard. So I've created like these different little areas that you can like add little notes or just do like decorations. So if you wanted to do something like, like this, oh. and just be like, I just want this section to be pretty. So I'm just going to put this here let's see like bit you know and then you could always like take um take one of these boxes let's go with this one copy and layer that on top you know so just like, I wanted to give you something that was kind of like free flowing that you could just do whatever you could, you know, use these as headers or put stickers on them, anything like that. You know, I just thought that'd be really fun. So this is the productivity dashboard page and yeah, so you could keep like all kinds of lists or whatever. That's kind of what I was going for. Um, and then there's a list page if you have lists and then pre-decorated pages. Here's what they look like. So this is one. This is another one. It's another one. I really like this one. It's really pretty. And then this one, I kind of would like to use these maybe as like journal pages or like memory pages or something. So I could copy them and put them in my journal section. Um, and then this one, I think that's, that's it. Okay. But so, so yeah, this is the June planner. What do you guys think? I tried to go fast, but not too fast, but not too long. Oh, I hope I did okay. All right. So here's some of my things. I like to do favorites because um, it I can easily go back to them. So I would like favorite this and then favorite my current week and favorite my current day so that when I go to my favorite section, it's like right there. And then I can just unfavorite the current week and fa favorite the next week, you know, as I move on. And then that way everything is just like quickly referenced right here. And I don't have to like scroll. I don't have to like click around. I just go to favorites and it's there. Like for instance, I know I need to do my monthly goals page because that is the challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead and favorite it so I can go back to it easily. But, but yeah, so this is, this is my, process. All right. I guess that is all for my setup. Obviously I'll go back and like add extra notes and do things like that. Um, but this gives you like a good, excuse me, my coffee's not kicked in yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this gives you like a good overview of what's going on in my planner for June. I hope this is helpful to see this type of thing. Something else I wanted to show you, goodness, I've got like, is this it? Okay, so my freebie, it's, I'm like on top of things right now. And my freebie is already listed for June. So for June, I posed this question, this idea in my Facebook group where I thought of a planner kit that comes with like a page template and stickers. So this may look familiar to you. I decided to do a page template that is very similar to the current planner just because, you know, I thought that that would be relatable to the collection and blah, 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 blah. And so what I wanted to do is come up with a planner kit where it has, is it this one? Yeah. So it has a page template and then a set of stickers 
I know you're like wanting to see the stickers. You're like, show me the stickers already. Hang on. Um, a set of stickers that you guys could use and plan like a weekly spread with me. So uh, this is something that you guys can follow along with. On Friday, I'm going to do a video where I go step by step and use the stickers in this kit and the page template to create a weekly spread. Now, when I came up with this, I was like, okay, well, what stickers do I include? What do I, you know, what do I want to show you guys? So this is kind of like what I was going for. This is the page I created whenever I had, I was trying to figure out like what stickers to include. So I wanted to come up with a spread that I could show you guys and sort of like recreate. So this is kind of the direction we're going to head for Friday's video. So this is our weekly spread that we're going to use. And here are your stickers. See, there's that sticker I was talking about. I wanted it to be stickers that are not included anywhere else. So the, you will not find these stickers in the standard book or the big book, but I pulled elements from the big book and from the regular book so that I could tweak those to give you something different. So it's like, you know, like these you can find in, in here. So these are the ones that come in the big book, but for the freebie, I like did like a gradient and they're really cool. I feel like this is very like watermelony, which I think would work for, um, for well, just any other fruity thing. And I think like my strawberry lemonade one, I think it would work with that too. So anyway, so these are the stickers. And these are the stickers in the freebie kit. So if you've not signed up for my mailing list yet, um, you, like go, go do it and get this. This is already in the vault. So it's 40 stickers this time. And you know, all of these and all of these, and we're gonna use these in a video on Friday to create a weekly spread. And for something extra fun, I asked my PR team if they wanted to get on, get in on this early and create their own weekly spreads so I can show you guys those too, so that you can see like completely different ways of using this. And, um, one thing that they've already done, a couple of girls have already sent in their thing is they've done like, uh, blank pages. Oh, this is in here too. So if you get, if you have the freebie set, if you're going to get the freebie set and you want a blank page, if you do plus and say current template, then you get like a blank page because that's what this is because these stickers are all like, you know, on here. So you, that's how you can get a blank page if you want to just play with something. Uh, this is what one of the girls used for her, um, like our goals page. She created a goals page here. So that's fun. But yeah, so this is the freebie set that is in the vault now for June. And we are going to use this on Friday in a planning video where you guys can follow along step by step with the exact same stickers and the exact same page template. And we are going to create a weekly spread together and then, you know, add your own twist to it. And you don't have to use the exact same stickers like I included Sunday Start and Monday Start and pretty much two of each of everything so well almost everything like obviously not that but so that you can like choose what you want to do and give you a little more variety so that you can like play around and create something that's you know unique to you and then I'd love to see them in my Facebook group so if you do this on Friday with me um, show them in the Facebook group that would be really fun to see okay so I don't know how long this video is probably ridiculously long so yeah so this is my, uh, my June setup. I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know if you are using this planner, if you have subscribed to one of my, um, my monthly subscriptions. And I don't know if I said this whenever I was talking about these subscriptions, but with these subscriptions, along with all the goodies that so you get them straight to your inbox every single month, you just click the button and you can download the catalogs. Um, but you get this a week before the collection hits the shop. So that's why you've probably seen some of this stuff um, being shown in like the Facebook group and on Instagram. I've seen these from different people because they've they've been playing with this for a week now. Um, but it's, it's in the shop and 
Uh, I still have a few more things I want to put in the shop related to this that I've got requests. Like someone wanted uh, one of the modern planners and someone wanted one of the DIY ring binders in this. So those are coming. I'm going to try to like make it a practice of like every Friday have something new for you in the shop because I do have a lot of customer requests right now and um, and like if you have a request let me know because for June I'm well I'm not gonna get them all done because there's so many requests so for June and probably July too I'm just gonna be working on some customer requests so if you have something let me know but I'll try to have some sort of new release for you like every Friday so yeah I already have like a few new things to go along with it um, yeah I, should I give you a teaser for CHQ while we're here? Do you want that? Maybe, since you guys have been asking about it. Oh, I, I suppose I should show you. Like, here's some of the other goodies um, for this collection, by the way. So, I have a pen and pencil bundle. Uh, there's the paper notes, a paper bundle, washi bundle, highlighters, um, hardware, binder rings, the accessories, all, all this kind of stuff. Um, but... Here's your teaser for CHQ. Let's see, if you're curious, uh, I don't mind giving you a little teaser. This is just one thing that you're getting. I'm not going to show you everything, but just this. You can see this. This is the Strawberry Lemonade sticker book. And I'm not even going to do a flip through. You guys saw something because, you know, it was there when it popped up. But so this is a teaser for CHQ for June. It is coming and it is so freaking cute. Love it. Um, and I think a lot of the colors will go really well with the Tutti Fruity. So, okay. All right, I guess that's it. I think I've said that like twice now. But I'm out. I will probably go ahead and record my uh, freebie weekly spread video next. Just because I'm in like the recording place in the mood right now. So, okay. All right. I'm going to edit this and upload it. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.